Hey guys. Um, first of all, don't worry. I still, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna keep my promise to you guys. I'm gonna do the when I build it up. Right now, it's just in test trial phase. I have a pistol competition that I'm hosting them all, and I just wanted to see how this guy shoots, and just to maybe take it with me to mall just to run it a little bit. Um, so this is just a like an extra lower I have. Uh, and I put like stock TM parts and some UAC stuff. So um, this is not what I'm building. I'm going to change it a lot. And uh, we're going to talk about this guy. <laughs> this guy is um, really, he's that interesting, uh, quite the pain in the butt to put to, uh, together. Um, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's hard to it's hard to figure out where to start, but um, let me disassemble it to show you guys how this system works. Because right now I can't figure out any other way, and I can tell you one thing: if you buy this, you need strong fingers. Or yeah, yeah, you you need strong fingers. Now, this is the front half. Uh, one thing that stinks, and I'm gonna change it, but that's just me. Is um it's cool. I mean, you know, this is a 22, and they basically made it the size. Um, but unfortunately, you can see that if you want to, I wanted to add a compensator, an extra compensator in here, or a threaded barrel. Uh, quite honestly, because this is fixed, uh, you know, this is this is doing all the work, so it's not going to be an issue for, uh, to put on front stuff. Um, but you can't do that. So I'm just going to actually drill down, make it a little bigger. And another thing is, uh, me and my friend, uh, we actually we want to know if we can take this apart. So I'm gonna do some uh, abusing, unfortunately, but hey, I gotta find out. Uh, I'm gonna take a heat gun and heat the. I know I'm pretty sure there's Loctite in here, and then try to take apart this and this. Um, if that works out, I'll let you guys know in the other video when I actually build it with the stuff I want. Um, I'll let you know because we wanna. I, I wanna color this. I want to like you know port this and do some cool stuff to it, but um, I just wanted to have the ability to take this apart. So that's the front part. Uh, rear part, not much to be said. Uh, you just here's the trick. This guy has to go in here. So I think you, if you guys have a good visual, uh, it is a pain in the butt. Okay, uh, I'll show you right now how it works. Uh, that's why I say you're gonna need strong fingers. This is a stock spring. I'm gonna attempt to do it on camera with a stronger spring. So let's see if we can do that. I managed to get short stroke in here, but it was a pain, and you know you just have your fingers have you have to have you know pretty good finger strength or uh, what do you call it. Uh, endurance. <laughs> All right, there's a couple ways to do it, but this is the way I'm going to do it on the camera because I think it's the easiest to explain or visually show. You need to put this the fixed part in here. Okay, put the plug in here. Do not, um, <laughs> do not lock tight this. Uh, I I might be retarded or something, but I cannot figure out any other way to. To get this to work without taking this apart once you put it in when it's like uh, when you have it tightened together then you can take it out I'll show you but other than that it's, it's very hard to uh, okay so you see I put I put this front part in here to help keep the uh, recoil spring straight and here goes the um, the test you have to uh, one thing we did try, we did try um, a 1911, and that didn't work out, I'm pretty sure, I think. I would have to talk to him again. So, you're just going to push it forward. You just have to get a couple of threads in here. Okay, you see, I'm, I'm creeping it in. I'm trying to get a couple of threads with my uh, right hand. And then here's what I do. Since I know I have a couple of threads in here already, I'm going to push it down like this. I'm going to tighten it. You see when I when I tighten it, 
Okay, there we go. It should be should be flush. You shouldn't have any issues. You shouldn't have anything sticking out. And just check the seams. Where, where are the seams at? Uh, right here. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, excuse the mess up. I'm in the middle of Queenie and, and I got a competition. I got a host tomorrow, so I'm like uh, doing everything last minute. <laughs> but um, now here's how you take it out. Uh, let me see if I remember this correctly. You're going to pull this section up. So you see the front of the cap. Okay, you're going to push that out. Okay. And then you're going to lift up the front it's so hard just like that there you go that's that's the uh, and the joke is you know you can't even get this out I tried it you can't twist the barrel um, you just it's uh, very difficult but I'm not going to, I mean, I, I sound like I'm complaining, but I'm very happy with this. It's, it's something cool, it's unique, 42 gram slide, it's, just, it's awesome. But I'm just trying to show you guys the reality of it. And yeah, this is a 97 millimeter barrel, don't worry. Which is, like I told you, this is literally just, you know, random stuff thrown in here. Now, the thing I've been trying to figure out, this is the harder one. This, I don't really like doing this one. But I'm going to try to see if I can demonstrate for you guys. Ah, here goes nothing. Hurts the nails. <laughs> Especially since this uh, recoil spring. The stronger the recoil spring is, and the more short stroke you want to put in, you're just going to have a nightmare. There you guys go. I hope that was caught on camera. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. Okay, so let's dry fire. We've all been waiting for that. Uh, I have already cheated. I already dry fired it. <sighs> but I thought I'd do it on camera. Otherwise, I was just going to have to like try to, oh, guys, I didn't build it totally. And, you know, anyone watching would see all the marks on it. <laughs> I'm not going to baby this guy. Uh, that's one thing. I gotta find. He always he gets mad at me, but hey, gotta see how it works, man. I learned everything the hard way. <laughs> okay, do we have anything wrong here? Okay, that looks lined up. Let's, let's see. Okay. Now you know the one thing I haven't gotten used to is I'm so used to pulling from here. But you can no longer do that. Now, if you have big hands like me, you have to. It's a you know it's a pretty hard rack from the front, so get used to pulling from the back. You can see I'm I'm still trying to. It's hard to pull from here, so this, I'm pulling from the back now. Gotta get used to that. Very it's very cool. Okay. Let me get a mag. Okay. All right. On camera, guys. I think this is going to be like the first dry firing test video. Um. Uh, is that enough? Okay. It's so it's so nice. The joke is, it's not even all good stuff in here. Uh, UAC TM loading nozzle, um, 120 uh, 120 return spring, and the recoil spring is I think it's a Goddard 150. Okay, um, and then the stock TM parts with the steel sear and the steel valve knocker that comes with the advanced frame. Um, AIP stock TM trigger uh, uh, stock TM trigger bar, AIP stock TM leaf. And AIP, this is just an extra lower I had. So 
so. Uh, it's sort of late, so I don't want to shoot too much, but uh, let's just do a little more. Let's see if we can get uh, one of the muzzle flip. I'll do this one hand. Okay, we're running out of gas. Let's try it this way. Okay, we're out of gas. Uh, stock camera spring, too. Let's make sure we're out of gas. Okay, cool. I don't have a detent, detent set in here, so when you turn it to the left, the slide catch will pull out. So if you guys ever have that problem, you should check your detent set. Let me see if it locks. Oh, <laughs> it barely doesn't lock with this recoil spring. You guys see that? Oh, okay. But uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I will do it like a, when I when I get the parts I want. Um, I will do like you know like a series or whatever if it needs to be. But I'll probably order, order all the parts at once and then build it. To be honest, I haven't really figured out what um, what I really want to build this as. So I think it's going to take a while because I need to uh, like figure out what I want exactly. And, build it um the only thing i will let you guys know on is uh if the thread if this part comes out i think it's threaded into the front part and if this part falls off too um it's extreme but i want to know i really do and we, you know i want to know if i can like you know take this and anodize it port it and do some more stuff to it so um this will be a very fun project i'm so glad this came out i've been watching this for a very very long time okay I'll see you guys around, and uh, this is the Airsoft Masterpiece. I bought it from Alpha Airsoft. Uh, I don't have the box, but it's called the 2-2. I think, yeah, everyone's calling it the 2-2. And there's black, silver, and dual tone, but I think I think those two sold out, and the only one left in stock is silver. But I will see you guys around. Take it easy.